I'm here with the Saskatoon Public Library on Treaty 6 land and the traditional homeland of the Métis. And I'm really happy to welcome you to a draw and tell this morning. Now, our draw and tells are stories that we share with you that create a picture as we tell the story. This particular draw and tell is called Mrs. McGregor's Salad. Now, Mrs. McGregor and her husband, Mr. McGregor, grow a garden. And you may have seen a show where you saw Mr. McGregor's garden. Now, Mrs. McGregor loved all the vegetables that she brought in from her garden every day. And as fall came on, she had harvested many, many delicious vegetables, and she made lots of yummy salads from them. Now, on this particular day, she decided that she wanted to make a salad with some of the carrots she had brought in. So she went and she got out a great big salad bowl. I'm gonna draw that salad bowl right now. And then she went to the fridge to look for her carrots. She started looking, but before she found the carrots, she noticed some radishes. She thought, mmm, radishes would be good in my salad. So she got busy and she sliced the radishes up into nice little round white circles. And she put them in her salad like this. Then she went back to her fridge and she kept looking for the carrots. Now, as she looked, she spotted something in the fridge that she just loved some yummy green olives. They were the kind of green olives that have the little red pimentos in the center. I don't know if you've ever tried them, but I think they're yummy. So she took a couple of those green olives and she put them in her salad. And remember, they were the kind with the little red pimentos in the center. And then she went back to the fridge and she kept looking. She looked and she looked and she thought, oh, hey, there's something orange. And as she pulled out the container with something orange, no, it wasn't her carrots. It was some cheese slices that she had cut into little orange triangles that she put on some crackers the other day. But she put some of those cheese slices in her salad because she liked cheese in her salad. And then she went back to looking in the fridge. She looked and she looked and she looked. No, those weren't the carrots, but she spied some green peppers that she had sliced up the other day and she took out the container and she took some of the green peppers and put them in her salad. Yum, those green peppers are probably going to be very tasty in her salad. And she went back to the fridge and she looked and looked and looked and looked some more no carrots, but she spied some celery. Mmm, crunchy, yummy celery. So she cut a couple of pieces of celery into some nice little sticks and put those in her salad. And she thought, where could those carrots be? Maybe I didn't put them in the fridge yet. And so, she got busy and started looking around the house to try and figure out where those carrots might have ended up. She went and she walked all around the living room, just in case. And when she got to the far side of the living room beside the couch, she saw one carrot. Hmm. So she picked up that one carrot. And then she thought, well, where would the rest of the carrots be? This is very strange. And she went back to look around the kitchen. And she started walking all the way around to one side of the kitchen and back to the other. And then, on a chair by the kitchen table, she spied another carrot. Well, there was a second carrot that she had brought in. And she thought, this is very strange. How did my carrots end up all over the house? And she saw something move under the table. What do you think it was? She lifted up the tablecloth, and you're right. She saw a bunny. So Mrs. McGregor got busy 
and she quickly shooed the bunny safely out of the house. And she sat down and chopped up some carrots in her salad and enjoyed a delicious salad for her lunch. I hope you had a lovely time listening to this draw and tell about Mrs. McGregor's salad. Maybe you can think about some of the delicious things you've seen growing in gardens that you might enjoy in a salad too. Have a nice day. Thank you.